I'm building something. You see, me and my buddy Rich, we're going after some carp. Carp, 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 carp. And we're gonna take the canoe. So I'm building something. Stick around, we'll show you what it is. All right, I got something I gotta show you. You do? Yeah. What do you got? Follow me over here. Right here. Oh, look at this. <laughs> wow, that's huge. Yeah? Four inch PVC. Four feet long. I figured it would uh, help stabilize it. What do you think? Wow, that's a great idea. Yeah, this is my, my homemade canoe float here. It's a lot bigger than I thought it would have been. I've seen some with uh, foam on the side. It only sticks out the side of the canoe probably 18 inches. Well, I, I thought about doing it that small. I can always cut the main beam down, but this one, this only sticks off 24 on each side. Oh, that's not too bad. Mm -hmm. You're not going to tip over with this. <laughs> <laughs> that's the whole idea. So one of us can stand up and shoot. That's All right. A great idea. Yeah, let's load up and show them how it works. All right. Okay. Um, first thing in the morning, beautiful morning, sun shining. We're all loaded up, um, got everything ready to go, and uh, we're going to give it a try down the uh, river. Well, I was worried about this thing kind of being a hindrance going down the river. Um, and we're having a hard time even getting it in the river with it on. So, uh, for the purpose of today, I think we're going to give up on my homemade canoe float idea. Maybe we'll try this in a lake or something, but um, can't even get it down the bank without ripping it off. And I'm not sure how we're going to put it on in the water. I know there's some debris down here that we're going to potentially run into. And uh, it's, just, it's just not working out. So, I'm extremely excited because the river is so low today. We are going to see some major carp action and we're gonna zing them and ping them and string them <laughs> <laughs> all right all right quinn all right i got a little excited i seen a pretty good sized carp probably 10 to 12 pounds somewhere around there and i pulled back and went to shoot and i forgot to, <laughs> forgot to hit my release on my uh on my reel so off the arrow went ka-chunk, snapped the line, and uh, in the process of us trying to find my arrow, which is about three and a half, four feet deep, <laughs> Quinn put the anchor down, and <laughs> the rope fell off the anchor. <laughs> so we finally retrieved the anchor after some careful manipulation and uh, a little bit of wetness. Um, Retied the anchor, and now we're gonna head back out to the middle which is, of course, is the deepest spot where my arrow's at. And uh, while we were down there trying to find stuff, there was a couple of nice 15-pounders that swam by laughing at us. So <laughs> we're going to go back out and see if we can get my arrow. And then we can maybe start fishing. Oh, man, nice shot. I got one. I'm going to drop the anchor. So I saw this big one. I'm like, right here, right here. And he... Zinged. Oh, you know what I didn't bring? What's that? My my scale. Oh, you didn't bring the D liar. <laughs> oh, jeez. Well, you know what? We're gonna string them up anyway. We can weigh them all later. All right. That's a nice wow, carp. Wow, this is a fighter. That is a nice carp. 
They fight harder down here. That's what I've been telling you. He's a fighter. They fight harder in that current. Look at that carp. That thing is this, nice. This one's about a nine to ten pounds. Right? Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Ah, I love it. That's a dandy. <laughs> All right. Nice shot, man. All right. It's a little tougher in the canoe because it's kind of tippy. Um, but it's working out pretty good. It would have been nice to have the stabilizer floats on. I think that the construction job on those was excellent, by the way. <laughs> but uh, nonetheless, Rich is, Rich is stringing up his carp, and I forgot my scale. Uh, I don't bring my full tackle box with me when I go in the canoe, and I try to remember everything that I need, and I guess I need to make a list. Uh, we got nothing to weigh these guys with, but we are going to save them all today, and I'm going to bury them all around my berry bushes that I'm trying to get established at home. So gonna be nice food for them nice fertilizer and uh, we'll weigh them all later and see what we got got him nice nice shot rich thank you thank you got just barely got him yeah but you got him that's what counts right now might want to sit once you get him wow I gotta tighten my drag up yeah Heavy duty. Oh. Nice fish. <laughs> That's actually a pretty good sized fish. Yeah, I know. He was right next to me and I was like, wow, look at that thing. <laughs> All right. Good job. <laughs> yeah. Nice freaking fish. Yeah, 10. Yeah, he's a 10-pounder. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is living, baby, let me tell you. All right. Don't String pull, him up. Don't pull my bow in the water. Tell me what's going on there, buddy. Well, Quinn, I seen an average size one. I figured, hey, why are we waiting for the big ones? Let's shoot some carp. Ooh, he's up out. So, he's up out of the water. I shot a carp, and he went directly underneath some sticks, and that's where we're at right now. Yeah. He might be able to break us loose here, but... He's going to take your arrow. There we go. Nice shot. Oh, there he goes. Again. <laughs> How many have we lost right here in this so, hole? So far, two. Actually, three. Uh, I lost two. Quinn lost one. Yeah. So. Yeah, I got a subtitle now for our adventure. There you go. The Legend of Scarfish. <laughs> <laughs> these one, these are definitely a lot tougher down this area. They're fighting the stream a lot more, and you can tell the difference. So, fun stuff. Lots yep. of fun. Yeah, we only have one on the stringer so far. Uh, Rich's last big one got away, and uh, I think I'm going to increase the poundage on my bow, Rich. Yeah, that's probably not a bad idea. I'm shooting 58 pounds, which I thought was too much, but yet it's, it appears to be just enough to get through them and get out 7 to 10 yards. Yep. So. String broke. String broke. Right there. Hear that snap? I sure broke did. Twice. Wow. You know why? Because you didn't push your button. <laughs> I didn't push my button. That's a heavy duty reel, Quinn. I can see my arrow and it's very shallow. Okay. I can also see the fish that I missed. He's looking at me. He's right there. That's a heavy duty reel to snap that line like that. He's in front of you now. That's all right. So let's go get my arrow and tie it back on. All right. I did the same thing when I, my first shot of the day today. Did the same exact thing. All right. Okay. We found my scarfish, the one I hit in the back and lost. I don't know if you can see this on video or not, but there he is flicking his tail. And then right next to him is, <laughs> is a couple of other ones. This one is the dandy right here, which I'm going to try to shoot. Don't move. And we'll see what happens. They're just piled up in here, just laying on top of each other. These are crazy. What are they doing in here? And why did we come up in here? <laughs> to get your arrow. Look, here's Quinn's arrow over here. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm afraid if I try to shoot under there, I'm just gonna get in amongst all them sticks. Hey Rich. Yes sir. Shoot the big one. All right. Rich is going to give me the camera. He's going to shoot the big one and we're going to go from there. No <laughs> fear. 
All I'll right. get wet if we have to get your arrow. It's cool. <laughs> Got your button pushed? Yep. Cool. Wow. My goodness, listen to that thing. I can't even see it. Oh, there's my scarfish. I saw him. Is he wrapped? All right, he's got the cable wrapped around it. Did he break it? Nope. Can you get your arrow? Yep. Whoa. Oh, oh, man! Yeah. Ah! I bet you that's bigger. I bet you that's the biggest one we've ever got right there. Oh, he's, the ones we got over at Carp Cove are a little bit bigger. You think so? Yeah. Oh, I don't know, Rich. That is massive. He's good size, but I think Carp Cove was bigger. All right. Nice shot. He is a heavy one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, baby. There's a park right down here. Yeah, there's there's five of them underneath that log actually. That little teeny log that goes uh, east and west there. Just absolutely don't have a shot of anything right now. This branch in my way. There's a whole school up in here. There's at least ten. Underneath that mess, huh? I could shoot one of these. I... I don't see how I possibly could have missed that. But I did. Wow. Do you want to reposition the boat or? No, I want to shot this fish that's what we're doing. Okay. That's a pretty close shot. Oh. Sideways, I'll take it. Yeah. <laughs> nice. All right. Oh, he's underneath there. All right. I'm not letting him go. All right. Here he is back here. Sweet. Good shot, Quinn. <laughs> Nice. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> right through the gear. Nice yeah. shot. Let's see if I can get him strung up here. Um, All right, Quinn's first fish. I gotta sit down though. Yep, that's fine. <laughs> oh, <boy>. Sweet. <laughs> I brought a 25 foot stringer today. 25, that'll hold a lot of fish. <laughs> Tripped it back out. Well, that's the whole idea. And I had no idea we were even going to have this awesome of a shallow river to deal with today. This is unbelievable. We haven't even moved a quarter mile downstream from where we put in. We've got a long way to go to get to where <laughs> Rich's truck is. <laughs> <laughs> and we're still pinging. That's cool. 25 feet may be a lot to handle. That yeah, might be a bit much. I think I'm going to not let it all out. Because having well, an anchor line and all that to deal with, <laughs> you can see where that might be an issue. <laughs> yeah, he would wrap around that in a second. Cool. Bring him up so I can see what he looks like. Nice. Yeah, that's a nice carp right there. That's a there. good sized carp. All right, good shooting. Thanks. Here comes some more on your left coming out. I don't know if you can see him up in. That's a lot of debris back there. It's kind of hard. I know. To... It's scary shooting into it. 
Yeah, it is. It's hard to navigate back through there. But that's what the fish like, so. Uh, yeah, they certainly do. Oh, I see scarfish. You do? But I have to reposition. Okay. Put us where you need us here. All right. How far out? Go. Right there? Oh, your line broke. Oh. That's not him, though. You know why my line broke, Rich? <laughs> yes, I do. You got to remember to hit that button. Holy crap. I saw a scarfish. Well, good thing you didn't hit him, because I see your arrow sitting there. There's your arrow. Yeah, but I'm not sure I didn't. That's right where he was. Yeah? Oh. Dang. All right, let's go All get right. your arrow. I tried to get him. That's a, Scarfish that's good... wins today, I guess. <laughs> All right. Okay, Quinn saw a scarfish, which is the fish I originally shot, the third fish this morning, second fish. So he shot across there. His line broke because we forgot to push the button again, which happens to us quite a bit. We get excited, no big deal. So we go in to retrieve his arrow, and I see scarfish laying there with Quinn's arrow just barely through the top of his fin, just laying there. He's underneath some sticks and branches, and I had barely had an opening this big, so I punched right through with my bow and uh, stuck him to the ground. It doesn't look like he moved too much. So, but any, anyway, we've got him, so let's see what we can get here. I don't know if I'll be able to pull him out from this direction or not. Yeah, that's going to take some doing. Mike, can you grab my arrow? I can't even reach your okay. tip of the soap. Break that stick off. <laughs> yeah. We got to get in up here is where we got to get. Oh, there's another big stick right over here, so we can't anyway. But yeah, if you can get that broken off. Yeah. That's that military training right there. <laughs> Right. Boy, this is hard to shoot video in the canoe too. Still alive. Oh yeah. We've had a real challenge trying to shoot video in the canoe with out tipping and not missing shot opportunities and all that, but okay. Quinn Zero is out of the fish. No more scarfish, huh? Quinn Zero's out. All right. Yours has to come out toward me. Yeah. That's the arrow does, but I don't know if the fish is going to fit through there. I was trying to break that stick off, but I'm not going to be able to. All right. Well, I got to put the camera down to help okay. hold everything. All right. I found scarfish. You got him. That's the first one I or third one I shot, right? That was the second one you got. Second one I shot. And he got away. When you were trying to string him. We're up in these branches and there's a bunch of spiders and ants and stuff keep falling down on us, so. Uh, that's the joys of getting in where the carp are at. All right. Good job. String him up. All right. Well, I finally had an opportunity to make a shot cruising down through here and uh, he didn't go anywhere. He's just done. Worked out real well. What are you working on, Rich? Somehow my arrow rest came loose and it shifted to the outside quite a bit. So my arrow was like this <laughs> instead oh, yeah. of shooting this way. Yep. So I'm just tightening everything back up and it uh, looks like Quinn got another brain shot. <laughs> I could see it from here. <laughs> That's the second brain shot Quinn has gotten since I've been with him. <laughs> Sorry. That's all right. You got him. Trying to see where the other one went. I thought he was going to hang out back here. There was here, a but couple under the end of the log there, and I just had a split second to shoot, and I shot. And I shot him. <laughs> Feisty little guy. Yep. Good shot, man. Thank you. It's a 
little five pounder. You're smart enough to tie the stringers closer to the boat. Yeah, but he's wrapped around mine, so. Oh, jeez. I'm gonna anchor here real quick so we can get. He's back on your side. I don't know if that helps you at all. Yeah, but he's still underneath my rope. He slowed down. Well, maybe not. Nice shot, Rich. Thank you, sir. Man, front of the canoe is the place to be today. <laughs> All right. Saw him laying there. He didn't look this big in the water. <laughs> but uh, he's a keeper. Yeah. Of course, he's wrapped twice around my uh, around my fin, fin, my stuff here. Yeah, kind of hard keeping the stringers in the water today because it's uh, something else to get tangled on, and uh, it's been happening repeatedly. He's a fighter. Look at him come downstream. <laughs> oh! Okay. What do you need? I gotta shut the video off. He's gonna pull, get us unhooked. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, we've seen that <laughs> carp on the other side of the river, so we decide to swing around, turn around, all the way the around, current. go straight upstream, and we jabbed in there, and there was one laying right on the edge. So Quinn shot it, and then it took off like a bullet down river, and <laughs> it's underneath that log there right now. Here it comes. He's pulling him back. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it's coming any further than that. Okay. So looks like he's on that branch right there. Yep. Oh, it's coming out. He swam out from There you go, reel him in. <laughs> so I can get him around that branch so we can... There you go, reel it in. <laughs> yeah, baby. Oh. Yeah. My goodness, he can fight. He's a fighter. He wants that branch. My reel seat is loose. Yeah. Out how to keep it tight. That's frustrating. <laughs> I can't really stand up to fight this thing. This current is strong. Right here. This is pretty strong. I couldn't strong. push the canoe by myself against it going upriver, so <laughs> it's not very deep. I'm gonna pull him by hand. Sweet. That was a good shot. Thanks. Well, there's a great big dark one over here. That's why we came over. Big, you know, it looks black through the through the water. Not sure what that's about. So we were trying to get a swung around and get a shot at it. <laughs> and uh, in the meantime, it moved out into the middle. And then this one was here, so I was able to actually get a shot at this one. I haven't been able to shoot a whole lot today, being in the back of the canoe. But That's true. It's a lot more work back there. You see, this is what happens when you're in front of the canoe. You get all those. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Okay. Got him in the up there. All right. Show you what we got. Yeah. Well, I'm coming out. I want to try to get him strung before I. All right. Before I. Well, yeah. yeah, that's a nice fish. Yeah, it is. All right. That's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of Pine River juice on you. <laughs> yeah. Yummy. Good stuff. All right. Good shooting. Thanks, man. Holy crap, Quinn! Don't try to pull too hard, Quinn. He's coming out. I got to arrow him. I gotta stick him. If you can get another arrow in him, go ahead. Put the video down. Put another arrow in him. Alright, just he's coming out. He's coming out. I'm gonna drop anchor. Got him. Yeah, I got him. Alright, we got two in him. Okay, we got two arrows in him. Woo! He's worth that one. <laughs>
Okay. <laughs> nice shot, Quinn. You know, if I saw this great big carp over on our left. I'm like, Rich, left side, left side. And he swings back, he's moving up, he shoots and he misses. So I grabbed my bow and Rich says, get him, Quinn, get him. And I made a shot sitting down. I shot way, I mean, I aimed way low with the water and my air went right through him. And uh, then my string took off upstream. It made a sound as he was pulling it. And uh, Oh, yeah! What a carp! Let's get him in! Let's was, get him in! That was a good one. All right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Finally oh, got to a position where yeah, I could that. start filming Quinn. Because <laughs> we didn't want to let this one go. This was a dandy. <laughs> Look at that carp. <laughs> Oh, good shot, Quinn. Thanks. Good shot, Rich. All nice right. follow. Now, the reason Rich put an arrow in is because mine was, you could see my barb sticking out on the one side, and it was just, just hanging in there. So, he, he said, I got to do it. And uh, I had to shoot him. <laughs> we got kind of a mess here we're dealing with now. That's okay. It's worth it. Oh, yeah, it is. It's an awesome, awesome cart. Maybe the biggest ever. We'll find out when we weigh him later. That <laughs> one is it. That one's worth waiting for. I don't know if my arrow was coming out. That is so solid. It's in there that good, huh? Yeah. Even though it's not in very far. All I seen was the barb, so I thought, gosh, we better get that one. Good choice. Well, you probably ought to get mine out first. Yeah. Because mine's not tangled on anything. Okay. Get Something my... That. <laughs> that's, that's a fish, Quinn. All right, we'll check back in in a minute when we get them strung up. All right, all I saw when I first saw this thing was this great big... <laughs> great big thick head. Whoa. Look at that. Look at how wide that is. Whoa. Look at that. <laughs> that's awesome. Oh, yeah, it's some serious fish. <laughs> that's awesome. Serious fish. Good shooting. We had to cut the line to get it all untangled, but you know what? No big deal. We'll tie it back on and keep going. Wow. Yeah, he's fighting good. Decided to uh, do a little fishing here in this hole. And uh, right there, Northern Pike. Got him on a number six Panther Martin. Orange. He hit it right away, too. What, yep. third cast? Third cast, yep. There you go. Think that's the one that just swam by us? It's the same size. Yeah. Pretty close. Yeah. Rich just saw one, so I thought, well, what the heck? Dropped anchor, and uh, there we go. Nice. <laughs> ah. Yeah. Ah. Hey, nice yeah. fish. There's a nice small mouth right there. He's probably 15 or 16, I'd say. Yeah. Yeah. Got him on that same lure, little orange panther martin, number six, and uh. We knew there was a good hole here, too deep to see any carp, so we thought we'd start doing a little casting down through here, since we're getting toward the end of our journey, and I haven't done any of that yet. Wow, what you got, Quinn? <laughs> I got Rich's pike. <laughs> he got, just got slammed right next to the canoe, and uh, another nice pike. Very this nice. One's, I don't know, 20, 27, 28. He's a dandy. Looks, a nice pike. Looks like somebody bit his tail, too. Yeah. A little tore up. Yeah, I switched from a... Uh, I switched to a Panther Martin, a yellow and orange, and uh, that did the trick. So, How about that. Cool. All right. Nice catch. There we go. <laughs> Not as big as the last one that got off. Oh, that one got off too. <laughs> Two. <laughs> yeah, he was a little one, but still, they put up a good fight. Yep. Look at that little guy. Yeah. <laughs> Good that, job. That's a, that looks, oh, he's a little bit darker. Cool. Look at that. <laughs> that's fun. Good stuff. Now we missed the shot again. My gosh, it comes fast in the river. Saw some mud and uh, 
told Rich right side, right side. He picked it out and made a great shot. Great shot, Rich. Look at that carp. Oh, yeah. He's a 10 pounder. Oh, yeah. That's a great carp right there. All right. I was afraid we were done for the day. Uh, Put the anchor down, Quinn, and we'll try to get you a couple through here. All right. Ah, awesome. My barb's sticking through and wrapped around here, though. I don't want it to cut my cut my string. Great shot. Uh, drifting. Well, Rich just spotted one. Said, get your bow ready. There's one right over here. So I grabbed it and uh, made a shot. You made a great shot. Yeah. Oh, grab him. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> I didn't tighten my point down. Crap. And I didn't tighten my point down after the last one. Crap. The last fish I let off. Oh, another <laughs> one. Lost. Bummer. I've had three of them get off today. Some nice carp. So, well, at least I had the opportunity. Good time. Well, we had a good day today. We did a lot of maneuvering and paddling and uh, to get me into some areas where I could get some shots on some of these uh, fish. So thanks to Quinn for that. I had a great day today. Um, we spent uh, quite a few hours more out here than what we normally do, or that we planned on doing for today anyway. <laughs> but we were having so much fun. Hey, why not, you know? Like we say before, we only get a few opportunities to come out and do this. So what a great day. Awesome time. Wrapping up another great day, another great adventure. Uh, Got ourselves a mess of carp here. Rich got eight of them on his stringer and I got four. My last two, both good size, both got off. The one was my fault because I, I forgot to tighten the tip back down on my arrowhead. And the other one, have no idea. Arrow went completely through him and somehow came off. But you know what? Awesome time. We've got some huge carp here. Can't wait to get them home and weigh them. We'll check back.